Nagaland Tourism Department bra Friday day itu sal ai thakya Hornbill Festival kina manabo itu upor stakeholders kan lo de meeting ekta rakhi se koima de thaka hotel Jafu bra meeting the Nagaland la tourism minister Timjen Minalong Southern 1 laga MLA Kropol Witsu aro Southern 2 laga MLA KV Podi Sophie aro tourism department la commissioner and secretary Kito Jimomi bra stakeholders kan lo de discuss kurise Minister Along Bra ito homoy kuise Hornbill Festival bra naga manu ge unite kuriya se aro dunia bra Nagaland ge kine ka sai itu Badli hoise. Tourism la commissioner and secretary Kito Jimomi bra ito homoy kuise Hornbill Festival do state laga asset as. Aro takan koi mage ekta music city banawale ni mide kam kuriya se. Emily Kropol with Subrapi meeting de festival homoy taxi aro pani laga mamla uthi thaka khan upor kotha kuriya se. The Hornbill Festival is one of the only claims to fame for the state of Nagaland. It is an asset for the entire state. And it is perhaps one of the only events in the state which is done with such a wonderful coordination and networking of most of the uh, departments in the state. And every year we've seen that the Hornbill Festival is getting better and better. And we hope that this edition of the Hornbill Festival will be much much better than the editions which have gone by. We are also trying as a department to ensure that uh, Nagaland is really up there in the map of tourists who come to the country or for the domestic tourists. We are trying to get even festivals like the Hornbill Festival empaneled and enlisted as a UNESCO World Heritage Festival. So in this effort of ours, we are also trying to get Kohima city as uh, recognized as a music city by, by UNESCO. So in this effort, I think we all of us have to do it together. It cannot be done by the tourism department alone. And therefore, I take this opportunity to, to address everybody who is here with the permission of our Honourable Minister, that just not the Hornbill Festival, but even for general growth of the state, for prosperity of the state, we all need to work together. See, the very idea of having a, having a consultative meeting is that we are able to curate together the Hornbill Festival 2023. And the Tourism Department takes the effort to facilitate that every one of us performs very well. Our state government and the people of Nagaland, the showcasting during the Hornbill has always been very eminent. And like how my Commissioner Secretary has said, Ukokito, it is very true that Nagaland is known for Hornbill. Nagaland may know one may be known for one thing or the other, but thanks to the Hornbill Festival, it has become more popular than any insurgency movement. So it's good. And all the departments <coughs> that are there, you know, starting from TAFMA, and also Art and Culture, Industry, Agri and Allied, and various other departments that are part of it. I pray that all of us uh, can come together, can do our best, and I think next time, actually, we really want the honorable advisors or the minister in charge of your departments also to participate in such a consultative meeting. Because policy decision has to be taken by the leaders of the elected members. And not just like, okay, we have to do something during Hornbill, so we'll do it. Not that. We are given the opportunity to do something, so we will do everything possible to make it uh, do well. See, you know better than what I'm trying to say. We need to be able to give the people who come to Nagaland for the Hornbill Festival the experience of a lifetime in participating in the Nagaland Hornbill Festival.